The slowed and reverb effect is used by slowing down the song of your choice and adding the reverb effect to it, which lowers the pitch of the singer. These can also be called lo-fi songs. If you search up slow and reverb tracks on YouTube, you'll see these are actually quite popular. So in this video, we are going to create a similar effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have an audio track. So let's just play this and see how that looks. Uh, now this audio is called Myself by Nav. I'm going to use this track and create the slow and reverb effect on it. So what you have to do is actually quite simple. So you select your track, audio track, and then in the inspector on the right side, we have all of these different options. And we're going to set the speed to 80%. So you can change this to any other value such as 80, 85 or uh, 75 as well. So you can tweak around with the speed. So you can use that value. Then the next thing is the pitch. So we're going to set this to negative 5. And let's listen to the audio track. Right, so we essentially slowed down the audio speed uh, with the speed change. And then with the pitch, we actually sort of created a deeper voice in the vocals of our audio. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to go to our audio effects over here in the effects panel. Then we have to find reverb and apply it on the audio clip. And once you apply the reverb effect, then you just have to play your audio track and then you can use the right arrow or the left arrow to scroll through the different presets who we have over here. Or if you want to create a custom preset, you can play around with uh, different settings over here. You can, you know, change the, the reverb room size with length height. And then we have also different settings over here, which you can play around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, set the select the uh, default preset, which is uh, bathroom. The first one, play it and see how that sounds. Solo, I think that looks pretty dope, uh, but you know, you can just play your audio and then cycle through while the audio is being played. So I'm going to do that. Right, so I kind of like bathroom preset and the studio preset. Both of these are pretty cool as well. So you can use any of these uh, three. So I'm going to go with bathroom preset and close out of this. Then you can go to your effects in the inspector. If you want to change some settings, you can do that right over here. And if you want to change the preset, then you can simply click on this little icon, click on it, and then it should open up the uh, reverb preset uh, manager over here where you can just change to any other preset from here. So let's just close out of this. Then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to go back to our audio tab over here and then we are going to enable equalizer click on it and then we have band one and band four over here so we are going to enable both of these band one click on it and click on band four and now what you can do is you can select the band four over here the number four and you can just drag it like so and what that will allow you to do is it will uh, kind of add a muffled audio effect so if you play the audio, let's listen to it and see what that did. All right, so it kind of uh, um, makes it sound like uh, the it's an uh, underwater kind of uh, sound effect. So you can toggle it on and off the equalizer and play it and see what the changes look like. So this is before the equalizer. And let's just enable the equalizer now. So you can see that it is uh, it's a massive difference over there. You can also uh, click on the band one and you can change the position of it as well. So you can play around with these settings and uh, come up with a different result. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you can create or add reverb and slow down effect to your audio track inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video is helpful. Hope you learn something new. If you did, then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.